Good morning, dear students of Saint Andrews School. I hope you are staying at home and staying safe. Today we will study mathematics, and this is chapter number nine. And name of this chapter is measurement. Okay, children. Children, think about it. How to measure length of any object? I repeat it again. How can you measure length of any object? Okay. Now I am going to tell you how to measure length of any object. Children, if we want to measure length of any object, then we have to use a scale. Okay. And with the help of a scale, we can measure length of any object. Okay. Children, one most important thing, size. One most important thing is size of this scale shows to centimeter. Okay, and this size of scale shows to inches. Okay, I repeat it. I repeat it again. This size of scale shows to centimeter and this side of a scale shows to inches okay children now i am going to tell you how to measure length of any object with the help of a scale okay children first we will measure length of this job okay children to measure length of this job we have to put this job on this place okay and we will start from zero okay understood we will start to measure this job from zero and we can see length of this job is 1 cm okay zero and 1 1 cm okay got it so children that's way we can measure length of any object okay now i am going to measure length of a book this is any book now i am going to measure length of this chalk with the help of this scale okay now i put this book here okay on the zero line okay and now we will start to measure this book from zero okay and we can see the length of this book is 3 cm okay because this side of a scale shows 2 cm so we can see that length of this scale from sorry length of this book from 0 to 3 shows 2 length of this book 3 cm okay got it so children that's where we can measure length of any object okay children and one more thing children you have to always remember 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter it means length of any object 100 centimeter then you can say it the length of this object is 1 meter because 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter okay got it so children complete your work in mathematics from page number 100 to 204 okay okay children i repeat it again you have to complete your work from page number 100 to 204 
okay and that's it the photo and send it in group thank you and have a nice day